The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here on this uh, Thursday, the 4th of April. We're looking at the uh, Dow up, uh, oh, that's the E-mini. Let me just say the E-mini is up 31 at 52.97, made a, a high of 53.07.00, um, got an arch formation, held uh, the first for support of the 52.96 area, bouncing, but the 5292 uh, 200 period exponential moving average in the one minute chart is going to be key support. The uh, five minute chart at a peak E hasn't yet given a sell signal or sell mode. It will if it drops below, uh, if it gets to 52.94, I'm pretty sure it will. So far, it's holding quite well. And it's a peak F in the uh, 10 minute chart. Just I wanted to show you that because that's like one, five, and 10 minutes is like daily, weekly, monthly uh, in the general charts. Now let's go to the general charts. And I, the question, uh, there was a question yesterday. So what's weak if everything looks so strong? What's weak, what's really weak is a select consumer staples fund. Look how it went from 76.61. The all-time high was up in the 80s, but the, the most recent high was 76.61 uh, four sessions ago, five sessions ago, and it dropped to 73. It's not a big deal, but this is the deepest and quickest uh, pullback it's had the XLP uh, since uh, February. And if you're looking at the weekly chart, that's one of the biggest red candles, but if we've still got today to finish and tomorrow at four, uh, four o'clock. So there's a lot to go. But this is this has been very weak. And what does it do? It has, look at this, it has Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble has made a peak D. Oh, I forgot to put that in. Peak D in the Chapman methodology right there at 163 point something. Let me just give you this D. And now I can put a down arrow. Here we go. D is what we anticipated in a buy signal to buy mode in the trend wave methodology. That's where other things can happen. This has gone from 163 point uh, 14 to where it is. Well, yesterday it went to 155. It's trading 156.65 right now, and uh, that's a leg. Hmm, interesting. EFG could be an alternate count. I'm calling it G for now. And then we'll come back to it next week. All right there. Um, let's go to J and J, Johnson and Johnson. Type it in that little rectangle over there. J and J. There we go. Johnson and Johnson. And Johnson and Johnson is trading right now, up 68 cents after a very sharp down move yesterday. Made a peak D high. Oh, it's the same thing. 163 point. That was 14. This one is 163.13. How about that? 163.13. Um, down to the 154 level. Huh, that's pretty sharp. But if you look at the weekly chart, it's really the 200 period moving average has been a magnet, both up and down, and now it's becoming a repellent area. We'll wait until tomorrow at 4 o'clock. But so far, this is the first time that the... the um, Nine period moving average in, in quite a few weeks has gone back to pink. What was the other one? Uh, was it General Mills? GIS. Always look at GIS. Yeah, I had a huge spike. Must have been some kind of an earnings or some kind of a report that came out. Spiked. It's tootling along in the uh, 68s. Next thing goes to 74.45. Uh, opens actually at 74. 73.96 goes to 74.45. Closes down to the 69 level. Look at that. Now it's just kind of filling in that space. So, yeah, that's where the weakness is. Um, and the reason being, look, when you go to the commodity index, <clears throat> DBA, it's making a peak, it's made a peak E. I think it's having a digestive phase. Uh, made an, uh, an all time, not an all time high, but a most recent number of years high at 25, 25 on the 1st of April. Uh, it's trading at 24.69, no big deal, but it is a leg C. Now, I've called it a leg C, even though this is a phantom peak right here. Uh, it had a 22.18 high the week of the 9th of Feb. 
2218 high on the following week, uh, 16th week of the 16th of Feb. And but if you look here, you'll see that there was a little nick, a little kind of uh, a pullback in the night period differential of the MACD of the stochastic. No, uh, no, in the in the faster moving average of the stochastic. Yeah. So um, as it stands right now, um, this is I'm calling it a leg C. Technically, it is only a B, but I'm calling it a C for. Oh, I did it twice. Uh, um, 22.55, no, that was 22.54, one penny lower, that is an official B. All right, so this is very interesting. Uh, DB Agricultural Fund, uh, well, I should mention we are long from right down there, the 13.25 level, just off the, the low. Oh, we're, we're long at, uh, let me just give you this correctly because uh, the long is actually at 13.77, I believe, yeah, 13.77. The real low was 13.25 in June of 2020. And look how it went up to 23.01, made a cup formation, went back to peak D under the previous D. That's usually not good. So it did pull back sharply. Now we've had this very long extension to the upside. Now, I was talking about this and saying, if the DBB, the DBA, DB Agriculture Fund, which includes cocoa, is giving us any clues, then cocoa should be making some kind of a top and that is also at a peak at about 10,324. Here it is, it's uh, 9,463. But that nine period moving average, this magnificent indicator, which I must learn not to fight ever. And I try my best not to. Uh, look how wide that nine period is over the 14. That is really strong. So how it pulls back and what happens next in Cocoa after having a spectacular move from the 3,000s to the 10,300s, um, that you can expect some kind of a pullback. I also said I'm going to put together the BTC, which is the Bitcoin, which doesn't resemble the same pattern, but it has the characteristic coming off the top of 74,415. Let me just double check if that's still the price because it gets smoothed out. There's a continuous contract. 74, oh, now it's 75. You see it gets smoothed out. Now that's 75,185. Uh, I'll, I'll change it for now because it'll be good for good, a good few weeks. So with that 5,000, and of course I can't even remember, 185. I'll just put 185 for now. I'll come back to it in a minute. Let me just see. Yeah, 185, good. So it's trading right now at 68,150. You see this arch formation went sideways. Now what's fascinating is how... Other techniques can be used to identify the actual turn. So far, this is the top. This is the all-time high. And the, the high of, I'll have to give you the date as well because the, the price changes. The 14th of March. Uh, oh, now, yeah. The 14th of March at 75,185. Now, using the same techniques, the SMHs, have done almost the same thing. Look, on the 8th of March at 239.14, I got the same signals that said this should be the digestive phase for the SMHs, for the semiconductors. Well, they went from 239 down to the 213 area. Now it's quite nice at 230. Trading right now at 228.35. So this whole digestive phase has been a correct call, but that nine period moving average is still green and over the 14. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 156, SP's up 35. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back. Let me just go back to that because a question came in uh, from Tiger YouTube. Uh, let's see. Uh, consumer staples down, bullish for the market as a whole. Well, interestingly enough, the staples were doing well as the market is doing well. So as a, we've talked about this over and over and over. All the norms that you would normally see where gold goes up, dollar goes down, all of that's out the window. Where the VIX starts to rally and the market really takes takes a dive, none of that has been really functional. So the idea that staples uh, is the place that the, the, it's, it's called the defensive stock. That's where people go when things are really tough in the, in the, in the market, when the market's going down. That wasn't uh, pertinent right now. I'm just saying, this looks to me like it's an area of weakness that could remain. Let me just see what happened with that little ping that went in. We have got Mark in Denver. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good, Basil. How are you? Oh, well, sorry. I didn't know that you, know, that you were waiting. You'd like to look at what? Um, I was looking at playing or trading the boil B O I L via the it's the double of the um, U N G. I was wondering what your thoughts are on that. Seems like it's bottoming out. So uh, there's, there are a couple of things that um, I'm I'm fascinated with in terms of United States Natural Gas Fund. There had to have been, and we spoke about this oh, for a long time, that throughout. Uh, from the high that was made back in about August or so of uh, 20, let me give you the exact date. That was August of 2022 when UNG was trading at 130.00. I didn't realize that. Let me put that in there. 138 round number high. Unbelievable how these round numbers sit so nicely there. Okay. Um, that something was wrong. There, I, I kind of avoided it completely for subscribers. And it was just a moment where I thought we'd give it a try and it didn't work out. I said, I'm done. There is something wrong with this. It's the same as when oil went down to minus 40 because there was something wrong. Um, the usual it was supply, demand, it was a whole bunch of things. Was, it, that happened to be involved with the futures. But this is something different. I think that there's been a glut of natural gas and as a result, the normality of this, the cycles 
that go through with winter and summer and then not as much in summer you need and then you need a lot. None of that's worked. So it said to me that there's something wrong. Even the other day, I was looking at this and I thought, aha, the nine period moving average in the daily chart, this is UNG folks we're looking at, the United States National Gas Fund trading down 12 cents at 15.35. The nine pre moving average was just about to turn up, not cross positive yet, but turning up. The, the MACD has been rising and rising. Usually that's a really good sign when the MACD rises and there's a divergence between the price making lower lows. And then you get the stochastic and the on balance volume giving you a really nice V shaped turnaround. What you get is a very quick price movement. Then the stochastic goes very quickly from under 20% to over 80%. <clears throat> And the MACD continues higher. On balance volume uh, usually moves up significantly. And at the same time, you get price movement. So you get a buy signal on the stochastic that's upgraded to a buy mode when it goes over 20%. That's just the signal itself. Then you get the, uh, the MACD turning positive. Then you get the price movement that goes from a peak A. It just pulls back a hair, maybe goes to a B, and then you've got yourself a buy signal. We haven't got that yet, even even with this. And the other thing is, look at that big move. Well, big for this, even though it's gone from the 32s down to the 14s. That was a really big move with a gap and everything. All the things you'd look for, doji candle at the low on the 20th of Feb at 14.56. A huge gap up, doesn't fill the gap completely, it pulls back, then goes to a leg B. The MACD is going up, stochastic going up. But here's the clue. The stochastic went over 20% or just, sorry, 80%. It touched 80% for a fraction and then pulled back. That is never good. Pull back, and that's exactly what happened. You got your arch or you got your inverted V shaped pattern where it came down, retested, and took out the low. So even that one didn't work. It should have at least gone to a D. So I'm going to suggest to you this is natural gas at this particular point. I think if you look historically, uh, what are we? We're in April. So let's just go back to April's of the previous years. So there's February, there's April. So March of 2022 started a really big run, actually started in uh, January. And then it really accelerated and has soared up to the 138 level um, in August. So that was right through the summer, even though there was a very ugly, I think that was June. Yep, a very ugly June from 131 high. Uh, down to 73. Wow, that's a big pullback. And then it went to a new uh, uh, recovery high at 138 round number. So I'm just going to suggest to you that if you're thinking of doing it and you've done your homework and you feel comfortable, if you're going for the uh, you're going for the the, the uh, UNG, uh, you were going to go for boil. Is boil two or three times? I never remember. This is uh, Ultra Bloomberg. Usually it says is that two or three. I think it's two. Two, okay. So that's trading at 14.22. Um, even this pullback from yesterday's high, what a big pullback, just on a percentage terms from yesterday's high at, on the third uh, at 15.17. It opens at 15.17. That was the high. And then it comes down to 14.22 and closes at 14.44. And then today it gaps down and has another lower low. Wow. I just, I can see all the tactical signs that are giving you signals that say this should be rallying. It should be at 1650 based on the tacticals, not the on balance volume. That's the big disappointment here. That's the one thing that's the fly in the ointment. But I'm, oh, I just can't give you a, a go ahead with this. What I will say to you is, would you hold this overnight? And does the and does do the stops if you have any? Are they activated overnight? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I, I haven't even. I wasn't. I was going to dip my toe in, but I wanted to get your opinion first. So I'm you not know, really dip, that confident on doing anything. <laughs> so. You know, so dipping your toe in is yeah. is fine if you have the ability to have a stop overnight, because you don't want natural gas. And the, let's just go to natural gas itself, and you're also doubling up. So you don't want natural right. gas we're to be trading at a uh, dollar. One dollar eight eight three five, and tomorrow it's suddenly under one point eight or overnight, and then it, the UNG is going to gap down huge. Unless during right. the night you have a stop that you can be activate. First, find yeah. that out, 
if it's activated, okay. then I'm going to say to you, look, there are signs here that are suggesting that the UNG might dip a little bit to the 1510 level, maybe even 15. But if it doesn't do that overnight into tomorrow morning, there's a chance that Monday there could be a gap to the upside. And if it can cross 1569, this is the UNG, 1569 in the next, wow, that's a long time from right now, at 10, almost 1030 on Thursday, waiting for Monday. I, this is really tough. So if you want to nibble, first find out if, if you can have a trading for you overnight. Okay. And if you can, then I'm going to say a boil. Let me go to boil. It's a little aggressive, but you can just tiptoe in at 1426. If you can have a 1396 stop, if that's comfortable for you, I'd say, yeah. okay, because things are improving, but the price is not showing it just yet. Hope that helps okay, you. Okay, thank you. Good. Thank you for calling. We'll be back. Dow's up 154. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technicians Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
I've got a couple of questions that I need came in overnight. One is uh, Gigi wanted to know about REE. REE mentioned REE. So I believe this is so this is RE REE Automotive Limited uh, trading at five thirty nine up nineteen cents. <clears throat> so I believe this could be. Oh, I should have done it before, and now I can't even see. Them. Oh, stretch over the one computer to see the other computer. So RE E E. Automotive does. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, unrestricted by legacy thinking. RE has developed the next generation EV platform, which is completely flat, scalable, and modular, providing customers full design freedom to create the broad, broadest range of EV and autonomous vehicles for current and future applications, including last mile delivery, MAAS, light to medium. Now, um, why, I, you know, I couldn't quite, I read this and I didn't type it in here because I didn't quite understand it. EV platform. <clears throat> so is that not the, uh, um, not the battery, but it's the actual platform? I think that's what it is. So you can see how badly it's done. It's gone from the eights uh, just uh, last month <clears throat> down to the fives. Uh, it, it really is not doing that well. And I thought I'll put it together with something like a stem. Where did I type that? I typed in the wrong place. Let me just put it over here. Yeah. STEM. STEM Inc. Clean Energy Solutions Storage EV Solar. Also, just kind of sitting in the lows. It was up in the 360s just the last month, and it will drop down to the 170s. Now it's at 212. You know, a lot of, this, uh, a lot of these areas in the EV sector are kind of stalling. They're just not doing what you would expect. So I'm just going to say that um, AI, I don't know if AI is in the same area, C3.AI Inc. It's the same kind of chart pattern, once in the 38s just a, a month ago, <clears throat> now in the 26s, 25s. I just don't, I don't see anything there. I'm, I'm following it. I'm starting to make, I had, a whole, I had a note and I can't find it on a piece of paper with a number of these different areas. And, and even put in what they do with battery and you know, where they are. <laughs> God, I'll find it. I'll have to redo it. But I don't see anything right now. Okay, so that I wanted to touch that. Next question was, could I look at the GDX? I'll get to that now. Uh, the GDX, I didn't do that. I didn't do silver, so let's do that now. Look, the GDX is in leg D. Uh, it's gone above the left side, high of 32. Was that 32? Right there, the high of... The 22nd of December, which was, yeah, 32.35, and now it's trading at 33.90. Not far above it, but it's a leg D, and it's doing very nice. 35. And now it's it's gone from 32 down to 25. That was a big hit. And now it's the first. If you look at the monthly chart of the GDX, either this is just the beginning of a monster move to the upside, or it's just another one of those huge flurries that gets everybody who wasn't even looking at gold very interested in gold because that's all you hear about now is gold, 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 and silver. Um, and what happens is it comes back, and at 33, the next thing you know, in four weeks' time, is trading at 30.09, and all these stocks, they were doing nothing, and they had a big move up. I'm looking at something very different. I'm looking at, and I'll talk about that. I don't want to talk about it today. I don't want to take time. I was asked about it, and I'll say GDX is acting very well. All the technicals are very good in the daily chart. The weekly chart needs quite a bit of work, but it is acting well. And the monthly chart, um, we'll wait until the month finishes because it's the first time that the 9 period moving average has actually crossed positive, but I have to wait for the whole month to complete. So, yes, I do see major support between 31 and 29. I'm talking about really very good support in any pullback. I'm looking at the, uh, the way this moved to say, that I love the action. Um, I didn't like the way some of the stocks really stalled, and now they're kind of playing catch up. Uh, let me just do this quickly if I can. Right here, I just got a ping, so I'm going to go there right now, but I need to do this just to show you silver. Silver. Okay, but the way I always look at it is gold moves, silver's lagging. Now suddenly, silver catches up and passes gold, and then gold is kind of stalling, and then he turns around and says, hey, wait for me. And then they both try to rally together, and then they both come down together. And that's the way I'm looking at this. I'm anticipating 
that in the next, sometime next, later next week, we start to see some kind of pullback in the gold and silver. If we do, so I should say, if we do see the pullback, how deep it is, and so far it looks to me it's not going to be that be my, my leaning here is to say that gold is finally making the turn in like a huge uh, bowl formation and that there is a serious turn that's unfolding, but this might have gone ahead of itself. Now, and let's see who's pinging there. I'm going to go to my host chat. We have Gara. Gara, how are you? Gara in Newport Beach. How are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. So, what are we looking at here? <laughs> if you have the time, Mr. Basil, if you look at SQ Square, uh, I, I'm, I wait. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to say you shorted Square. Yes, sir. Okay. If you look at the daily chart, today is the third, uh, third dot from the top at the SAR parabolic. I shorted that yesterday at eighty dollars. I have five hundred shares. Uh, my question is that you think that will go down all the way to 200 EMA on a daily chart at $68 to close that gap on February the 22nd? Your idea, please. So, Garrow, I can give you an answer that's really simple in one word, yes. But then you need to say, but when? Because I think I could easily say that it's going to go down to the 73s but it could be now, it could be next year, it could be any time. So what you really want to know is what's the acceleration to the downside like, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. That's going to be in time, in time. But uh, first thing, I'm going to get out at 50-day uh, moving average, which is uh, 7461. I'm going so to get seven... out there first. And the second move is that if it goes below that 50-day move, simple moving average, again, I'm going to short it. But okay. I'm going to go for, I'm going to keep it until 74, 50, 74, 60 in that area. So, and, that, so uh, see what's going to happen from there on. So now I've got your plan. So let me go. Let me tell you my, what I'm looking at. You Square, which is a block Inc. Formerly Square, a point of sales software. They also do. I believe they do something uh, right there. The, the uh, yeah, so they're also, they're also doing something with the mining. So what we're looking at here is that the 120-minute chart has formed an arch formation, took out the left side low twice, and the 200-period moving average of the 120-minute chart is at 75.86. But I need to talk to you about something, and I, it's kind of important. So if you don't mind holding, I'll be right yes, back. Sir. Folks, the Dow is up 156. We're on with Garo in Newport Beach. We're looking at SQ trading at 78.38 down a dollar 27. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout and you'll see that 35% savings applied to your subscription price. And this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. Basil Chaplin, this is the Tiger Technicians Hour. We've got Garo from Newport Beach, California on the line. So Garo, this is what I'm looking at here. The reason why I said I needed to get back to you and talk to you about it very quickly is the, I'm not sure what the story is, why it hit, uh, it opened today at 79.00, round number high, had an actual high of 80.56, and then it plunged down to 76.24, and now it's kind of struggling to hold the gains. Um, but what's really important about this long-legged doji and the day's young, that can change by the end of the day, is that if there is a move intraday <clears throat> above, it's a 72.08. If it gets to 79, uh, 78.80 to 79, that's taking away the, the whatever the impetus was to smash to the downside. That's kind of given it. Now, I don't know if you're looking at the charts. Uh, can you see my charts live right now or not? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So let me, let me show you something. In the Chapman Wave, the start back in June um, of 20, it was a 120 minute chart going back to, oh, I, I, sorry. I was going to say, how can a 120 minute chart go back to June? This is, this is back in the, the uh, 5th or 6th of March at the 74 area, went to a peak A, B, C, D, E, and then had a big spike. It had a Chapman Wave Roman candle, went above it, went to, uh, up to the 87 level. And then pull back. What that gave me is a series now of lower lows that I can draw what I call a Chapman Wave inside track uh, repellent zone. Or this is this is actually the propellant zone. Uh, if it goes under it, it becomes a repellent zone. So this, the pink and green line where it went to this morning was exactly the low of 76.24 was right on the line. That line also coincides with the Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line in the arch formation that said it crosses actually goes just a tad lower and that says if square starts to uh, pull back it needs to do it fairly soon because the long wick of this candle is saying it could even close at a, a doji candle today almost at the open price and we'll have to see what happens but most importantly you want to see this wick at 77.16, you want to see that taken out, preferably today. And one of the reasons is, if it stalls, this could go into a rectangle formation and just go sideways. It doesn't even have to break today's low if it goes sideways. That's the reason why I was saying to you, time is of the essence. That's number one. Number two is, I've got another left side, right side price time match with a plumb line, not quite in the middle. Um, and it says that by... The uh, by three uh, is that three yeah three thirty on the eighth of April eighth of April will be April 
That'll be on Monday. If huh? you take out if you take out today's low, my target would then be the low that was made on the uh, at exactly the same time on the fifth of March of seventy three seventy seven. So that's what I'm looking at. That's the, that's the side that you want to be on right now. However, I have to tell you, based on my ten minute chart today, because we, we have to you have to get this impetus to roll over, which so far it's doing. But if whatever reason it starts to trade above, yeah, above 70, 78, 60, um, it's just going to stall and go sideways. So the impetus you've got right now, I like that. Now, you said you, you would have two positions. One is you'd, you'd get out, to, was it 75 something? The other was 74? Yes, sir. On, on 50 day moving, <clears throat> on a daily 50 day moving average. Uh, let me bring that. Um, it is uh, it is seventy four fifty, seventy four fifty, seventy four sixty. But let me let me tell you one thing, Mr. Basil. If you look at the sixty minute chart, yep. uh, you'll see that you'll see that uh, the candle is below the two two hundred moving average, and the two hundred EMA exponential it crossed on the two hundred SMA. So that is a very bad sign. That is a good sign to go shorter. When yes. the EMA rolls below the SMA at 200, 200 moving average, that is a weakness. That's a weakness. Number one. Number two, it is both below the 50-day moving average in 60 minutes and in 30 minutes. The one that you were talking in April, you're absolutely right. It pulled up. But in April, it didn't even in March. It didn't go. It was not below the two two hundred. It was above the two hundred. So whenever it is above two hundred, that is just clearing or it is correcting itself. But when the candle and the five-day SMA goes below fifty-day moving average and it goes below the two two hundred, the EMA and SMA, that is a big weak, weak, a weakness. So that, according to that, I'm shortening that. But whatever you say is absolutely right. Is correct. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until it goes to 50-day moving average at the daily chart. And then I'm going to get out there and see if it's going to go below. Then I'm going to have my second position. I'm going to get started to go shortening. But uh, if it's no, then I'm going to go long. That okay. Is, I, 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 can, uh, I can see. Yeah, I can see what you're looking at. I've pulled up my own 60-minute chart. Uh, this one has Chapman Wave Automator support and resistance levels. 76.67 is the support and the 60-minute uh, chart. The automated support, and today it went down to 76.24, and it's above it now, 77.55. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. yeah, so I agree. And also, look, at, look if you're looking at this, look, that nine-period moving average, that's just beautiful. That is under the 14. It deflected lower. I've got, uh, these are not Bollinger Bands. They act like Bollinger Bands, but they are, uh, oh, those, these are the Bollinger Bands. Okay. Yeah. So it's testing right now the support level of the Bollinger Band. If it goes under it, then all of a sudden, um, then, then you can target the lower part of today's yes, uh, range. Yes, I, Mr. Mr. Basil, I do, do not use the Bollinger Band. What I use is a regression line. It's a, it's a curve regression line on a 30 minute. Uh, if that goes below the regression line, uh, that is a weakness. It's a big weakness, and it is a hall mode, H A L L. That is another another line, like regression line. That both of them showed me negative, so that's why I'm hoping and holding. But you may be right. This may turn up and go up anywhere that he wants to. That doesn't matter, uh, right? Because I showed you that, and I this is my theory. But uh, you're absolutely right too. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm just happen. giving. You, I'm giving you the what if it doesn't work. <laughs> That's all. But so yes, far, sir. you're absolutely correct, and you've got enough indicators to say <clears throat> that you know exactly. For instance, seventy-eight seventeen right now is is a ten-minute uh, resistance line. So if you're just looking at uh, to what to follow and have a trading stop, that'll work great. I, I think you've picked the right one, and you often pick this one. Congratulations. Very nice. We're going to be following. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you for your time and listening to me. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for calling, Gary. So, folks, that was Square. It's actually called Blocked. I don't know why they all changed their names. Meta, give me a break. Facebook was great. I mean, you know, Alphabet. Yeah, stick with the name, man. All right, I'll be back. Dow's up 166. S&P's up 34. Basil Chapman, Target Conditions Hour. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back and we're looking at, I can't believe this one. Look at this. This is unbelievable. I love this kind of pattern. This is FCG for, well, first of all, Rig. Rig was, I was asked about Rig. They go together. Um, first one is, let me just do this because I haven't notated this yet. Uh, rig. So rig is trading. Uh, the question is, what energy stocks rig? So this is Transocean Limited Offshore Drilling Oil and Gas. We were looking for that leg D above six, at, at 679. It was back in uh, January, I think it was. And it hit that and then pulled back sharply to 445. This is offshore drilling oil and gas. And then it went to that exact level yesterday, actually went a little bit above it in leg D. So the technicals are very strong. On balance volume is a little overbought. It should pull back a little bit here towards the 620, 620, it's at 669, 628 to 620. I'd say is really good support on a pullback. And then the other one you were looking at, thank goodness I wrote it down because I forgot already. FCG, I don't know what this is called. Uh, oh, this is First Trust. Natural gas. Okay. 
<clears throat> I've done this before, but I don't have the notation in front of me. Yeah, so this is acting well. This kind of this little worm crawling up the branch of a tree, this is the most fantastic pattern. What it says is, unless it's something that really knocks it for a loop, so it takes out six or seven bars on the left side, any pullback should be bought. And it just keeps doing that until it doesn't. And right now, it's getting to the point where <clears throat> at 28.18, I can see a bit of a pullback. My thinking here is that the 29s, <clears throat> 20, high 28s, low 29s, it's going to offer a lot of resistance. I like it very much. If you're not, if you're in it, just stay in it. There's nothing to do. It's just looking fabulous. And the week, monthly, the monthly chart says the target should be the 31, 32 area in this in the summertime. So let's get back to it tomorrow. I'll do a little bit more work on this uh, before we do it. I'll do it again tomorrow. Put it down in my notes and someone remind me. Uh, Peaky, remind me. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over to Steve Rhodes. Stays young, Dow's up 176, SP's up 34. I'm James.